Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pin and this is our snack for the journey and this week we are walking by, flying by the letter that Paul wrote to the Romans, to the Romans, a beautiful letter about salvation, about salvation. And it's, it's interesting because Paul here is talking about salvation and the Christian life. He is talking about what happened in our Christian life. And it's very important for us to understand that. You are a sinner, you are saved by the work of Christ and all the, for the grace, by faith. So all those things are working together. But even though after we are saved, we are still struggling with sin. We are still struggling with sin. It, you, you, you believe in Christ, you accept Christ, you are saved, and that cannot be changed. We need to establish that, and Paul is, is going to establish that in the, in the letter, that you cannot lose your salvation. But we're, we're still in this world, we're still in this body, we're still with, uh, with the old man that Paul used, the, the, the flesh and all that kind, of, all those terms, that uh, it's still here struggling because we still say things that we're not supposed to say, even being a Christian. We do things that we're not supposed to do and, and all those kind of things and how we're going to handle that. And Paul called himself in the, in the, in the end of the chapter uh, 7, he called himself, well, I'm a miserable man, come on, I, I cannot do it. I cannot do what I, I want to do. And then in chapter 8 I'd like to share with you, that's the verse in chapter 8 that I'd like to share with you. Verse first, verse, the first verse in chapter 8 says, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. I'm going to say it again because it's very important for you to understand, for me to understand. Therefore, there's no, there's now, now that you are in Christ Jesus, now that you are saved, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. We are going to struggle. We are going to struggle with sin in our lives, in our whole lives, in this side of the heaven. We are going to struggle with sin, unfortunately. I, there is no good news on that. The good news is God is not going to give up on us. And God say, okay, no, you, you're not good enough. I, I missed. I, 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 didn't, I didn't do a good job. I didn't research well your life and you were, you were out. God's not going to do that. Paul is... A, a, Paul is making sure to each one of us that there is no condemnation. God is not going to repent, to change his mind about you and me. He decided to give you and give me eternal life and he will not change his mind and say, oh, okay, come on. Oh, yeah, let's risk that. Yeah, yeah, scratch that one from the book. of. He's not going to do that. This is what Paul is saying here. And then in chapter 8 and 9, he's going to work in the, in the election, predestination, because it's the foundation for that. God already knew the whole thing, so he's not going to change his mind. But it's very important for you to understand that. You that are struggling with sin, to know that you're not going to lose your salvation. There is no condemnation. There is no turning back. If you are a Christian, if you are saved by the grace of God, if you received the gift of eternal life and Jesus, and you accept Jesus in your life, there is no condemnation for you. We're going to sin. We're going to recognize that we sin. The, the Word, the Spirit, we work in our lives, we're going to confess, we're going to repent, come back again. Unfortunately, we're going to sin again, and we're going to repeat this whole process, but there is no condemnation. That is great news for each one of us. Hanging in there, God is still on your side. And this is our snack for the journey. God bless you.